Hey guys, today we're going to talk about one of the most important concepts in Swift UI, which is at state and binding in order to pass data between different views. We're going to use a very simple example here, which has three structs that pass a very basic string between them to display it in a text field. So the different buttons come from the different structs and they pass a string back to the top struct. So let's reconstruct this and create the basic Xcode template. We'll uh, just start with a V stack and put a text a view in it and just say hello. We'll run this just to make sure we see it uh, and everything is running fine. And this is very close to what you start with any basic Xcode project. So in order to make it a little bit more complicated, we'll pass placeholder text into the text view. And then we can find out different ways to change that by passing information back and forth. We do that by saying self.placeholder text, and now we should see the new text in there. This is all pretty simple, pretty basic stuff, and we're still working within the same struct. Uh, and to illustrate the point, if we're within the same struct, we want to change a value or property, we can do it this way with a button and say self placeholder text equals to meow. And we can't do it because the, the property has to be wrapped in what's called state because that's how we tell SwiftUI that it's going to change and that SwiftUI should be listening for a change in that property. So now we can do it. And when we press the button, the value changes and then it gets displayed in the text view. We can do this again. We'll add just one more button to say, what does a dog say? And uh, it will just be easier to see this way how you can put different information into the property. So exactly the same type of code will say self that placeholder text equals woof. And here we go. Press the different buttons and they pass the, uh, the respective string into the property, which then feeds the text view. This is all again, very simple and straightforward and it's all within the, the, the same struct. But now, Let's see how we would do this if we want to build different views that pass this exact, exact same functionality between themselves. So we'll take the buttons and put them into their own structs, which are of type view, and copy and paste that code, put it into the separate struct, which we've uh, called custom button one, and then we'll put custom button one into the original struct. So that way, you know, when projects get more complicated, this is how you break them out and put them into different files. The way we pass the data between the two structs is now using binding and we create a property called placeholder text in the second struct, but we tag it with the add binding uh, wrapper and we say that it's of type string. And that's how we tie it to the first struct that we have there. You'll see when we try to embed the custom button one into the first struct, it'll ask us, hey, for this placeholder text, what do you want to tie this to? And so we tie it to the placeholder text of the first uh, struct. So that's how the link happens between the two structs. And now they're talking about the same property and you can change it from the second struct. So if we run it now, you see that we can change the string the, the property value in the first struct from the second one from the custom button one we do we can do this again with a custom button two for the dog again create a, a struct that is of type view create a, a body a property which is a requirement if it's a view type of struct and then copy and paste the same code that's a button that uh, says uh, woof again do a binding which connects that to the first struct and once you try to embed custom button two, it'll ask you, how do you want to link it to the first struct? And you do self dollar sign placeholder text. The dollar sign means that it's linked to somewhere else. It's, it's connected to a binding property somewhere else. That's the difference. And that's why there is a dollar sign there in the first struct. So now you see, these are, this is how we've linked the at state property in the first struct to the binding properties in the other two structs and they can pass information between each other. Super easy once you get your head around it. Hopefully this was helpful. If you did find it helpful, please uh, like and subscribe and come back for more videos.